We're back with another one. Guys, we are, look at Honey glowing right now. Pregnancy is treating Honey the best ever. <laughs> Whatever, dude. No, is it or what? I mean, I'm what, having, what? What do you want to I'm say? I'm having a good pregnancy. Yeah, like, you're heard having a good some stories that I've heard. I am grateful. Like right now, if somebody were to ask you, like how how like how was your pregnancy? If somebody was pregnant, they're like, oh, how how is it? You would be like, yo, for me, it's not that it's not that bad so far. Yeah. She's rocking and rolling, and we are touching the city today. This is my first time like out dressed up and like did my makeup. Oh well, he went away. This is our first time actually leaving our house and dressing up and going somewhere. Um, went away. Yeah, it feels amazing actually. She's looking beautiful as always. Um, we got a busy, busy day today. My friend, when he watches this video, we're going to his baby shower right now. And his baby shower started 14 minutes ago. And we're an hour away. Guys. <laughs> like, we're sorry. The problem is that we live far. We literally just had a contractor at the house yeah. doing work. So it was just like, guys, our life is like not yeah. organized. Everything, everything everything's a mess. mess. Every we're like, yo, we're gonna leave an hour and a half before. And time went like this. It went by so fast. <laughs> time went super fast. But we're on our way and most importantly, we're on our way, we're taking our time, we want to get there safely. So we're heading there, then we're gonna leave there. My friend is playing in town today against the Raptors. So me and Honey are gonna go to the game, and go watch that and we'll see our friend play. The and basketball game. Basketball game, okay. yeah, basketball game. And then we're gonna have dinner out in the town. We're gonna hit the town. We're gonna hit the town. Guys, we're gonna hit the town and let me tell ya. In a while so it's exciting so we're gonna bring you guys with us it's gonna be one of those bowl and honey honey and bowl vlog days so you already know what time it is guys we are back <laughs> we are back we're just leaving our baby shower it was a success we actually got there late late but at perfect timing time. at a good time yeah so congratulations to them Love is in the air, guys. Love is in There's the air. a lot of um, babies being born right now, and it's such a beautiful blessing. So that is good. But now, Honey just finished stuffing her face a little bit, a little bit of a snack. She's eating for two. Guys, I am still hungry. I'm still <laughs> ready to eat. I'm so hungry. We got some pictures in there. Now we're about to go downtown to the game. To the game we go. To the game we go. So we'll see you guys at the game. At the game. I wish we could bring the camera to the game. That'd can we sick. though? I don't think you can. We're gonna try. Oh it's looking God. dark right now, but it's six, but it's feeling like nine. It literally feels like ten. Yeah. But talk to you guys in a bit. We are in the city where big dreams happen. Where big dreams are made of. How do you feel to be back in the city? Like I'm ready to go home. Same. I am tired and I can't lie, I cannot hang even a little bit. Like I'm tired and we still have to go out for a nine o'clock reservation. I'm gonna try to soldier it out. I'm hungry though, so that's the thing. Like it's either I eat at the our bagel, get a bagel. I'll eat whatever the Scotia Bank center no, has to offer. Get, get, no, I'm just gonna get a bagel at home. That's what you can eat. And we can just go home and call it a day. I'll just make a protein shake and that's, that's dinner. Mm. How's that? Mm. Bagel lover? I don't want a bagel right now. I want like food. I need like food after food after food to like you're, fill me. You're hungry today. We here, baby. We live. It's a zoo. We're about to go in there. We're parking right now. Honey, how you feeling? I am feeling good. She's feeling good. I'm feeling good. We'll see you guys after the game. Guys, I know <laughs> this hasn't been the greatest vlog, but we this went to the game. Rusty. Yeah, we went to the game. It was a good game. It was a good game. It was actually a really good game. We haven't been out like this in a while, and we're very rusty, <laughs> but... We're full now. We're rusty, so we left the game. Honey was feeling hungry, I was feeling hungry, so we went to go get food quick. 
And now we ate. And now we're heading home. And it's <sighs> way past our bedtime. We're way tired. past. And we have a long drive to do now. We have a so, long drive. And I think we're just going to wrap it up. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. It wasn't the best vlog, but we tried to do it. So you guys already know. We'll be back with another one. A better one. What's up, guys? I am in line at Tim Hortons. I got myself stuck in this long ass, slow ass line. I have an appointment. I have an OB appointment at 110. And I'm like an hour away. So we're in a pickle. I'm stuck in this line. But today I am going to be vlogging a little bit. Just, I just happened to see my beautiful lady. So, guys, I told you guys I was on my way to my OB appointment. Bull was actually training up the street and mm -hmm. we he finished at the same time that my OB appointment was yeah and, and it was just crazy so guys I'm emotional I'm excited like I'm everything right now honey okay we're not gonna get like super personal but I'll tell you guys what I feel comfortable with saying okay okay battery's gonna die by the way our camera died I had to get a battery but we're back in the car right now because we just had to do some errands mm -hmm. what I was gonna tell you was that today has been a very emotional day for me <laughs> I'm not gonna say for you but for me becoming a new father becoming a future parent and I don't really get that emotional when it comes to things but <laughs> today I was heavily heavily emotional if that makes sense. Today I was Tell very emotional. Why. Okay, <laughs> so I'm not gonna go into the major details because it is very personal to me. But what I could tell you is when Honey was about what would we say, like four four months pregnant? I would say like twenty two weeks. Four, around. eight, twelve, six so around five months. Around five months pregnant she got an ultrasound and everything was good she got all her scans everything was a-okay but then her ob was like oh there's one thing i want to tell you and the ob told her this one thing and she's like don't let it stress you don't let it bother you i'm just letting you know and honey told me and we were I, not okay. Bo we were not, not okay. We were not okay. I was not okay. She was not okay. I was like Googling. Oh my God, you guys. I yeah, and so she's much. a Google addict. And I had to start getting the Googling too. And it's just, it was very emotional. Like it was a very, like you guys are obviously, you guys obviously want to know what it is. But I'm not going to say anything because I just feel like it's too personal. But I'm just saying like, I was super, super emotional. Yeah. And hold on. Shout out to Honey though. Because Honey held it together like she during this whole time she held it down she was like yo everything's gonna be okay like don't worry and i had faith that everything was gonna be okay as well but i was still nervous like you know what i mean i was i'm a very spiritual person my family spiritual my mom's a spiritual person so my mom was doing a lot of prayers i was praying i didn't even tell my mom anything as well she was just praying just to pray but um and guys mind you we called the OB back oh yeah I was stressing to honey so I was like to honey I'm like babes like she can't just say that like you know what I mean and expect us to just be okay because basically she was like and at you're first gonna she have... didn't say at first she didn't say like she did say like it's common at first and like it's nothing to worry about but I thought maybe she was just saying that you know yeah. like and she was like give it some time and you'll come back in your third trimester and that was like the next appointment was like two months later let's say okay which was today yeah so that was i'm like no like call her put i'm not allowed to go to these appointments put me on the phone i was literally working honey called me and i spoke to the lady on the phone to give me a little bit of reinsurance but it still wasn't that much reinsurance it was but just the fact that there is a percentage it had us extremely nervous you know what i mean and it was like Whew, it was like stressing pregnancy is no joke like you're supposed to enjoy pregnancy and it's a beautiful thing but there's so much things that can happen during one's pregnancy and we're still not even at the end of the road yet no. you know what i mean so it's just like there's so much things that can happen like there's so much 
there's just so much like complications, ups and downs, like emotions, things that could pop up on um, a ultrasound. It could be false. It could be this. Like you know what I mean? There's just so much things that could happen, and it's just like a lot of people tend to be like, oh, I want a boy, or oh, I like just pray for a healthy child. Like that comes a hundred percent. And first. honestly, thank God for today's technology because yeah. it is next level, and you are able to literally see before the baby's even born if like the baby something's wrong with the baby or whatever. So thank God for that. But we went back to the OB. We had our appointment, and she was like, honestly, like you have nothing to worry about. This is like small potatoes, and you have like bigger fish to fry <laughs> like you still have to give birth like she just was stressing it that it's not that big of a deal so we felt a little bit better after that right yeah we felt slightly I felt better I felt better about it and I was like confident that this was gonna resolve so today guys I had my I or yesterday I had my ultrasound today I had my follow-up with my OB guess what Tell them, everything's a-okay so she called me had me on speaker, the OB was looking at the ultrasound fresh. She wasn't able to look at it and then Honey come in and just was able to tell Honey the news. She looked at it right on the spot and went through everything. Was like, his movement's okay, he's head down, which is amazing because we went to get a 3D ultrasound two days before and the lady was like, he's not head down. He's bummed down, he was bummed down. He was, she's like, yeah, he's head down. The umbilical cord is good. His movement is good. The ambiotic, the ambiotic fluid is good. His kidneys are good. And then they said one other thing. They said that he is actually a big boy. Wait, so He's right a now, little chunky monkey. He's a little chubby boy. So I am 32 weeks right now and I'm measuring at 33 weeks and four days. Yeah. And he's four pounds, 11 ounces. He's a big boy. At 32 weeks. <laughs> So guys, pray for me and wish me luck. <laughs> he um, is a big boy. So she was honey was like, oh, does that mean because I'm early I might have him early? And she's like, no, that just means he's gonna be a little bit he's a little bit of a chunkster. Chunky, a little bit of a chunkster. So and we got our 3D ultrasound of him and he is looking like a little chubby. He's looking chubby. He's looking like he got a little bit of weight But I was a chunky baby, like I was I had like rolls, like I was a chunky baby. Yeah, no, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The, the great news was that everything is good and the issue that came up two months earlier resolved itself. It resolved itself and it was like, like when I was listening to that phone call, me being a, like about to be a parent, tears came to my eyes. Tears of happiness, tears of joy. I was super thankful because all I want is for my son to be 100% healthy and just just good, you know what I mean? Like, And for her to say that, like, it was just amazing. That's what matters in this life to me and guys, personally. I like, have like know? a wild intuition, so I already, knew, I already knew this conversation was gonna go the way it did, so I was just not surprised. Yeah, she wasn't surprised. I was literally- I called Will after and he was like, I'm gonna cry. I'm I literally was like, yo, I was literally like, honey, where are you right now? Like, I need to see you and cry. Like, I want to just hold your belly and I want to just cry to you because, like, I'm super emotional and I'm happy that he's okay. I just want my son to be healthy and happy and just be the best. Ever. And that he yeah. is. So, guys, we are thankful and we are grateful yeah. and we are so lucky that we even have this opportunity in life to birth a child. Yeah. And we have had no complications as of yet, so we thank God and yeah. everybody watching over us. Yeah. And yeah. we're gonna continue our journey. Yeah. And you guys will be right there with us. Yeah. Questions you guys have, drop us a comment. Yeah. Um, also, guys, are you done talking about that? Uh, yeah, I know Bo will go on. I can go on. So on I gotta just cut If anybody on. has any questions, just hit me in the DM. Like maybe I'll make a that those new fathers out there and what I'm experiencing <laughs> about to be a father because bro the stuff that I'm experiencing right now as a man is just like it's just crazy mm -hmm. it's just crazy I could go like crazy with it but yeah I vented with my friend on the phone for like an hour after you know oh, so God. <laughs> yeah, so. I feel bad for him that's about it really that was our day today we've started the nursery mm -hmm. I started building the dresser this morning because me being the DIY that I am, 
everything was going smoothly, and then bam, I got, just got home, broke the dresser. Mm -hmm. I broke the effing dresser and t in a place where it's like not even like I can hide it. It's like the front of the dresser. So I have to wait for them to send me apart. She so. broke our son's dresser. So guys, comment below. I already know what you guys are thinking. Like, why not wait for me to help? This girl literally came inside the house, looked at me, and went right upstairs. And went, did what she had to do and went to work. And, and broke set, the dresser. Broke the dresser. It was going so good. When all she had to do was just take it easy. You never had to go right to the dresser. But once she has her mind set on something, it's like, it has to get done. It has to get done right away, right now. Like, And she's 32 weeks pregnant with our youngster in there. Like... Get off your feet, relax, and enjoy your pregnancy. I will get my hands dirty and put the drawer together. I will put the crib together. I'll put these things together. So what? now I'm trying to convince Bull to bring the crib upstairs because the crib just got here today, which it wasn't supposed to get here until like December like 24th. Mm -hmm. I got lucky and I got it on sale, guys. All meant to be. So I'm trying to convince Paul to bring it upstairs for me so that I can start building that because I have to wait for these parts now. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. And that is what we're giving you a nursery update. So yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. Yep, that's it. And guys, the house is almost done. Paint is almost done. Paint is literally one day away from being done. Yeah, the house is almost done. It's finally, finally coming together. We could see the vision. It was worth the wait slowly. But we literally are, we, we literally have like a month, we'll say. It's going to just be us in the house just for one month. And then before you know it, we're going to be a full-on family. No more just honey and I. It's going to be honey, our baby boy, and I. I said the that trio. To, I said that to Bull the other day that like, we haven't even really got like we haven't experienced this house just me and him because there's always there's been contractors in the house and stuff so it's like we have one month yeah, we're to enjoy the month. house alone and that's it so it is what it is but we're excited we're excited we're blessed we're thankful so yeah we'll be back with another one and this was a quick update this was emotional for me i don't know for her but you guys might think I'm ranting. I'm speaking my life. I'm being honest. I'm being transparent. So transparent, you won't even tell you. Yeah, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> We're thinking of putting some Christmas lights on. I was literally <laughs> just gonna say that. I just seen some Christmas lights on a house. <laughs> I'm thinking we might have to put some Christmas lights. I was literally yeah. saw the house this morning and I was like, it looks good. It looks good. Or even like a reef with some Christmas lights too. You know? Like this, the reef. Like, I don't know. Not I don't know the reef I'm doing. But we get two reefs this year. But anyway, it's got three. Um, so yeah, guys. So we will see you in our next video. You already know. Guys, we're 10 subs away from 8,000. You already know what time it is. Hopefully when this video does drop, we are at 8,000. And then we have a month. We're giving ourselves a month. From December to the end of December, we want 10K. We're going into the new year with a bang. Yep. All right. So... Love you guys.